Hello, everyone. My name is Sang Sangu from University of Central Florida, and I'm going to talk about my work of temporal sequence learning for action recognition and prediction. So let me start defining our problem first. Uh, the action recognition task is to classify action uh, given a full action videos, whereas the action prediction task is is uh, basically same same task video classification, but with limited amount of videos. So our, our work is motivated by the fact that uh, our video consists of uh, a sequence of frame as a uh, uh, sentence is a sequence of words. So here's our overall the system. We first extract a vector representation for each frame using CNN, and then generate a code book uh, by using the well-known Begobor's method. Next, we assign uh, each frame with the codebook. So we, the, the sequence of frames are the are a video level representation of a 2D matrix. Uh, finally, the, sec the sequence of vectors are fed to a simple but effective CNN to classify the videos. So let's take a look at uh, each process in detail. So first procedure is to extract the features for each frame uh, from the last fully connected layer of the VGG16 network. The VGG16 network can be replaced to any, any the common, commonly used network. Then we apply PCA to each feature to generate uh, a code book using k-means. And the uh, features are then assigned with the uh, corresponding code book numbers. So the the, as you can see in the bottom, the sequence of uh, the, the assigned numbers is, is a video level rep representation and uh, contains temporal dynamic uh, information. Now, two, uh, two different CNNs are employed to train the sequence of assigned numbers. Both networks contain 1D convolution layer, which is useful for uh, training uh, ordered sequence data. The benefit of the networks is in the, the training time because it's very shallow, so it's very fast to train. Even though the, the, the feature extraction time is time consuming, once, if the feature is once uh, ext extracted, the feature can be, the sequence of data can be learned with different uh, CNNs. So here we show the baseline performance of the trained VGG16 network. And the two stream uh, result is the average of special and temporal softmax out output. And we did baseline ablation uh, experiments with different feature dimension, codebook size, and different assign assignment methods. And when we, con uh, when, uh, we concatenate the appearance and motion features, so since the performance of the motion feature is better than the appearance feature, we want to uh, find the optimal weight for a weight of feature length that leads to the best performance. So we compute the histogram of optical flow sum in each frame and find out that the half of the first quartile point of the each data set, which is the UCF-101 and the HMDB-51, result in the best outcome. So the this table shows the comparison between the state of art method uh, and at that time, <laughs> and our method outperforms them or on par. So the interesting, interesting result is that the randomly initialized feature, like like highlighted one, uh, also shows a somewhat reliable performance. So it's yeah, really just a random number, but the with the, just a sequence number, we can come up with the, the reliable performance. And for the action prediction task, we train 10 different uh, CNNs with the limited data. And with only half amount of video data, our model, our model can reach to the over 95% of accuracy with full videos. And thank you very much. <laughs>